Today we formalize uh, this framework partnership agreement between uh, EFSA and another 13 organizations from six member states with a common goal, which is actually the risk characterization of Siwatera food poisoning in the European Union. So I think we formalize a, a great event that is uh, putting together all these uh, scientists to work in a common problem. Well, Siwatera food poisoning is a foodborne uh, disease that it was described uh, mainly in the intertropical areas, the Pacific, the Ocean and the Indian uh, Oceans. Uh, it was described there is an intoxication caused by consumption of fish who has uh, uh, accumulated a toxin, a biotoxin, which is called ciguatoxin. The, the production of this ciguatoxin is on a dinoflagellate, a microorganism present on the algae. So it's a, it's a foodborne disease, very common in some areas, but it's becoming uh, a problem at, at the European Union level. Uh, we have uh, several cases of outbreaks of Siwatera food poisoning starting in 2008 in the Canary Islands uh, from Spain. Uh, up to today, I think we have uh, up to 14 outbreaks of the disease and also in Madeira, in Portugal. Uh, it's it's an, uh, a project of uh, putting together scientists. We have uh, 13 organizations and they are distributed in four specific agreements. The first specific agreement, which actually is coordinated by the COSAM, but we have also ASAE, the Food Safety and Economic Organization of Portugal, will be dealing with the coordination, making all these things to work, put it together with a common goal. Then we have a specific agreement on epidemiology. It's going to overlook to the cases, uh, the case description, the description of the symptoms and also uh, how many outbreaks, what is going on on epidemiology. We will have a third one that will deal with the sampling of the fish and the sampling of the microalgae. And we'll have a fourth one, which will be the analytical chemical chemistry part of the project, which will be developing the methods and the standards and validation of the methods. So it's a very nice multidisciplinary uh, approach. Our specific role, it's about communication, because in ASAI, uh, in Food Safety Authority um, in Portugal, uh, we have a scientific council that advise ASAI, and this scientific council is supported by six uh, committees, and one of the committees is the risk communication. So, the focus of our participation, it's uh, to develop and to set up the external communication plan because, as we know, the communication is not, um, not solved the, the, the problems, but it's a very important tool.